Hello everyone and welcome to week six of our course. This is uh, an interesting week. We're going to be dealing with factitious disorders, somatoform disorders, physical disorders, cognitive disorders, dissociative disorders, and impulse control disorders. Wow, that's certainly a, uh, that's a lot of topics for one week. And uh, try to get through it. It's, it's difficult, but uh, at least go over this and try to start to put it into your heart and understand it. Uh, I'll be talking a little bit about dissociative disorders in a second, but let's go over our assignments first. In the DVD module 15, you're going to be reading different sections of the DSM all over the sort of place there. It's sort of a word salad, this, uh, or sort of a salad today, uh, this week. Lots of different presentations. You're going to watch four presentations. You're going to do the textbook chapter 13. You're going to read that. And you have two discussion board posts again and responses. And this week, of course, you have to post your research paper by the end of the week, by Sunday at uh, 11.59. Now, let me talk to you a second about dissociative disorders. This used to be called multiple personality disorders, and uh, you might know it by that term. There's lots of popular uh, shows, or, you know, like ho almost horrific shows on these uh, particular cases. But I have treated uh, two cases of multiple personality disorder, dissociative disorder, uh, in my career. It's very rare, by the way, so you won't be getting too many cases of dissociative personality disorder. In both instances, the, uh, there was two women, and uh, it was a woman in each case, and they both had uh, horrendous uh, situations in their, um, in their past. One was ritualistically abused by her father. Now, this is a hard story to hear, but you're going to have to hear hard stories in the counselor. She was ritualistically abused by her father, who was a pastor, who, when he was raping her as a child, he would say, you know, honor your father and mother. He would actually quote scripture. Uh, at night, he was in a satanic group, and uh, at one point, he impregnated his daughter and forced her to have an abortion on an altar while the mother looked on in a satanic ritual. And I know that's horrendous to try to even listen to, but you will be getting stories in counseling that can uh, reach that level of uh, severity. And uh, this woman, it was very difficult to work with her because she had, we had to sort of separate the world out into what the Bible really says and how it really applies versus what her father had taught her and what her parents had taught her. It was very difficult to help her rethink this whole situation and have any sense of uh, stability after that. But I think we, we, we did pretty well. But she would uh, sometimes switch while, we were, while I was talking to her and she would uh, move into a different personality part of her personality and that would occur usually under stressful situations when I touched on topics that were stressful then she would uh, move into this other aspect of her personality. The second woman who I treated with dissociative personality disorder uh, she used to come into the waiting room and we would sort of be able to tell which uh, aspect of her personality she was that day by whether she was jangling her keys or not. She uh, at one point, well, if she was jangling her keys, jingling her keys or whatever the word is, uh, she was functioning as a prostitute at that point in time. And if she wasn't, then she was this very demure, sweet uh, Christian woman. And so it was an interesting case as well. And um, interestingly, I refused to talk to the prostitute when she was in counseling, so I would only talk to that aspect of her personality, which was the uh, Christian aspect. And then I tried to move from that. Uh, and uh, help her understand what was going on in her life and gave her an understanding of dissociative disorder. As I mentioned at the beginning of this course, I'm able to understand all these different types of psychopathology from the basis of belief and uh, what you believe to be true or accept to be true. And I help people change their beliefs and changing their beliefs changes their thinking and the truth sets you free. And uh, I try to work with people with these disorders as well. And from the same framework, and uh, I hope to someday get to teach you even more about that framework. God bless. We'll see you next week.